To understand the Norwegians, you have to understand our profound relationship with the state. And is it stronger than to our family? I am going to date the four most popular brands in Norway. They are all state-owned. Oh, what? Yes. But only one can get my rose, and she's very interesting, I promise. Communism! State-owned brands, you might be thinking. And it's a good thought because actually in Norway, I mean, it should have been Apple. More than 80% yes. of us use iPhones. Or it should have been IKEA. 100% of us have IKEA furniture Android. or the IKEA style. Or it should be Tesla, you know. Nobody drives electrical cars like Norwegian and Tesla is one of the biggest brands, car brands in Norway, but no. They are all beaten by this uh, oh, lady. Oh, 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 this shady lady. Build up, this build up. shady lady. Mm, my first date to uh, day is uh, Tine, our most oldest and most traditional uh, dairy brand. She produces milk, she produces cream. <laughs> So, you know, she's quite fat, fat eh? sour cream, and she produces butter. But she's been on the table since I was... Yeah, she's, she is very traditional, and so when we make food, we always use sour cream or cream or butter. And if you ask uh, an Italian chef that is at my work, she hates this brand, because what? she says that sh the taste of this milk fat is poisoning all the Norwegian food. But, but, but we don't care. And so, come on, this is better in Italy. I, I think she hates tin, yes. <laughs> wow. Uh, it used to be a monopoly, uh, but now they have competition, so you can see another brand there called Q. Wow. And in the commercial, the nationalistic tone, because they kind of say that uh, Norwegian milk is high quality and for instance Swedish milk is water. It's a brand, but a beloved Norwegian brand. But she won't get my rose. Personally, I don't like her. I always buy her competitor. She's not so healthy and she's quite boring. But now we're going to fly off to our next date, much more interesting. Beauty, my date number two. Oh, I love you. I love your curves. I oh. love your lines. I love everything about you. What and is this? Oh, the lovely design and everything. So, um, she might get my rose, this... Uh, Who is she? Beautiful. She is the airport express train from Oslo to Oslo airport, the main airport in Norway. But that's private. Oh, no, 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 that's not private. She's a sexy beast, I would say. Will she get your rose? We have to see. Thank you, thank you so much. Look. Look, that's why we like it. What a service. Very good service. And it's very strange because service, not a Norwegian thing. Is it a gov government Norwegian thing? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, but here it is. On one of the favorite uh, brands in Norway, this uh, high-tech sustainability luxury thing of a train. It's sleek design. You can see it in the detail. Here it's wood, you know, Norwegian play with, typical, small finishes, wood, which is not, it should be a plastic or something, so that's more common on the other trains, but here it is, and it kind of oozes business class, and it's strange that the Norwegian state is oozing um, uh, business class, but it's also about simplicity, of course. Here we can check in and have that uh, boarding card or whatever you need, so you can just go to another drop off. What do you do? And, and, and uh, you can smell the expensive perfume, the smell of leather from the bags. Oh, luxury. And that's the business class. 
most of the trains in Norway, they don't run on time. There are always some delays. There's always some problems with the other railways. This but, is every 10 minutes. Yeah, this is every 10 minutes. And I think we trust the airport express. I think that's strange because it's a state-owned uh, railway, just like the other ones. It really ticks off both uh, technology uh, and sustainability. It's like Norwegians. I mean, as people, we feel that we are both sustainable, which is a lot. We have too much oil production. But I think we like to see ourselves as very technological and very sustainable. I'm still shocked it's a state. That's a state? Yeah, but you know, the Norwegian state, it understands its uh, citizens. It understands that when we go abroad, we, we, we need more. We, need, we don't want IKEA. We want something more, which I think this is. It's too expensive for Norwegians. Expensive? Well, it's, yeah, luxury. Are you hungry? Uh, well, they, they don't serve food on this train. That made, so if you're hungry when you arrive to the Oslo airport, uh, you will not get food on this. You might think so since it has this business class feeling, but no. And this is the toilet. Is it luxury or is it? Hmm, well. It's better than it mine. Is, is it? Free? No. I'm not sure. The ceiling is nice, but uh, kind of look uh, a bit worn out, actually. <laughs> don't, don't, don't say it. Yeah. <laughs> Are you enjoying yourself, Roman? Yeah, but uh, I'm not so impressed, so I'm not going to give my rose to this one here. She's very good. I love her a lot and I'm using her each time I'm leaving for a vacation so in that way I'm a very typical Norwegian. She used to have a monopoly actually, she doesn't anymore so there are options and you can actually take that uh, quite uh, good looking train and that brand which is also a state owned brand in Norway called V. Now you can take that to the airport, uh, it's half the price of the Airport Express and it's just like one or two minutes uh, longer uh, to drive over there. So now we are going very free, we're not paying anything, well at least we think we're not paying anything. It's a free uh, state-owned brand uh, and it's very available. Say goodbye, Say goodbye, you're not numbered, sorry, you're not numbered. This is the state-owned broadcasting system and you might think, what, what, the state propaganda machine? Yeah. Yeah, and we love that brand. It's called NRK, Norwegian Norsk Rikskringkasting. NRK has a mission to represent all of us. So, of course, this is a very diverse uh, organization. And they are on radio, on online, television, streaming platforms. They are all over, they're quite modern. And it's free. Uh, yeah, well, text-funded freedom in a way, but for yeah. the region that feels free. These programs, they are very creative they dare to be provoked yeah 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 they dare to be and they are not they can be political not correct and they are with us all the time from we are born till we are dead they had a monopoly we had only Very one television channel and a child a children tv was learn how to spell why do you think that we trust NRK, this so-called propaganda machine in many of your heads? I like it because I find it as a source for not fake news. Because it's stately funded, I believe what I read there. Oh, aren't you going poo, poo, when no, he says it's, that? It's, it's no fake news and it's no uh, uh, artificial intelligence generated stuff. And it's uh, you, you, you trust them. In Norway, we think that the state is the truth teller and the private no, they are just occupied with money. They put things on an agenda. If they make a telly, 
uh, program like about uh, about Bounty. Do you think uh, Max uh, is uh, naive? If they. Uh, <laughs> I'm not naive. You are naive. Uh, just, I love it too. I, I'm, I love I'm it just, too. I'm just waiting for your go to love. Zap. Do. Will mm. she get that rose? Uh, and okay, will she get that rose? Or oh, are you she going is pretty for... close. Maybe she's too free. Sorry, and okay. You almost made it. And actually, you've been there. If it's too. okay, oh, my if it's diamond. okay, we can just have a one night sleep before I go to my chosen one. <laughs> On the way to my final day, she's beautiful, she's very moralistic, she is extremely strict, and she has a very, very demanding personality. And actually, she has a mission, and I think Norwegians are secretly in love with her mission, and her mission is actually to uh, control alcohol consumption in Norway. So my rose <laughs> goes to Wien Monopole, the wine monopoly in Norway, the state owned liquor and wine store in Norway and which have very restricted openings hour and everything. But guys, this is actually the, the can you imagine a monopoly? Look, this is the number one brand, most popular brand in Norway. This shop, this state run alcohol shop you might say what the f and i understand that you think so because but you have to put yourself in the mind of a norwegian we love the state we have a strong relationship so of course we want the state to both limit and restrict our consumption but what kind of disguise <laughs> is this, this this is norwegian but then restricting on one hand, but giving us the best quality wine. And you know what? They had no choice. No, because you know this... If uh, they were to survive, they had to offer service. The, the people working here are very skilled. They know if you are eating chicken, they know which kind of wine you should have. And it is a huge selection, you know, in Norwegian grocery stores. It's a big mass. No, rate. but you know, that, this is a paradox because when it comes to food, Norwegian hate a big selection. We want that limited selection. It's but like when, loving KGB. Yeah, but when it comes to alcohol, we need a huge selection from Austria, from Germany, from France. From, yeah, France is very big when it comes it's to wine, like as you see. It's like Jung saying in North Korea no, no, come on, come on. that I offer you, you big yeah, services. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's opening hours, you can't get wine on a Sunday, you can't get it after four o'clock on a Saturday because this will be closed. For whenever. It is closed. Until the regime says it's okay. I can't the regime, believe. yeah. You probably think so, it's a regime. It's a regime. But you don't like it, Mats. I hate it. In the good old days, it was just a counter and you had to queue up for no, several no, no. months. Yeah. Uh, I would just like to note that I'm Norwegian. Yeah. But this, do you love Vin Monopole? Uh, yeah. And what do you think that this is the most popular brand in Norway? It's beating Apple, it's beating Tesla, it's beating IKEA. It's alcohol. <laughs> it's a masquerade. <laughs> we're, 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 we descend from Vikings. Of course, alcohol is going to beat technology. Even every though time. its its mission is to limit alcohol consumption in Norway. Why can't we be like Portugal? Why can't you go to the uh, gas station to buy a bottle of wine? Uh, well, of course, I think that would be the best for everyone. Because, Do you think so? Yeah, because uh, a lot of people want to buy things and being limited to only being able to buy it in certain stores uh, limits a lot of people to experiencing a lot of good alcohol. Okay, Mr. Vin Monopole, will you accept my rose? I apologize, I can't because the Monopoly is for everyone. Really? You don't accept it? It's for everyone and really you have to go now because we are closed.
Well, Norwegian kind of like that, that uh, restriction, that hard demanding brand. Okay. You need to go now. Okay, 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 okay. okay, okay. We are leaving. Thank you so much. Well, go out. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah. That's cute.